Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, please make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad. Cheers to my past. You know, it's, it's getting close to winter now. It's um, the end of October, and I start doing a lot of work inside my little wood shop. Winter is coming. During the springtime, I'm outside pretty much the whole spring. Um, I'll do a few little projects here and there, but during the winter, uh, I'm in my wood shop, in my CNC, and trying to make things and have a little fun, and, and um, I really enjoy it. So um, after two years as a beginner, I still consider myself a beginner CNCer, but after two years, these are the 10 bits that I use the most. And um, some of them I use more than others right now. Like right now, I'm in the middle of doing um, Christmas boxes, uh, 3D lids with, with boxes for Christmas presents. Um, last year, it was all about um, cutting boards with epoxy inlays. And um, those were actually really popular. A lot of people like those and they, they made really good gifts. But today we're gonna just talk about the CNC bits. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start down here at the first one. And get yourself one of these magnifying headsets. These, these, are, um, these are good to have for reading the numbers on the bits. And I've had, I don't have the greatest eyesight, so I've had to use these quite a few times. Especially with some of the bits that look the same. Um, but let's start off with the first bit. Now, when I first got my CNC, the one thing the one thing you need to do after you put your whole machine together is surface your spoil board. And this big bit, this is a two inch, this is a two inch bit by Whiteside. This is a model number 6220, and um, this throws off a lot of dust. Matter of fact, my dust collection, I've got a pretty good dust collection, and it won't keep up with this bit. Um, but it does a really nice job of keeping the whole thing surfaced. And I've used this thing twice, basically. Um, actually, I've used it th maybe three or four times. I used it twice. I did the first layer of my spoil board. This right here is my second generation of the spoil board. And um, I also surfaced a few live edge slabs with this. But if I have my choice when I'm surfacing small material, I will use this 6210. So this big one is a two inch, four winged, 6220. And then you have this one right here, which is a three wing, 6210. Now when I'm surfacing, you know, small things, I'll always surface it with this 6210 before. Now some of the first projects that I learned how to do as a beginner was V-carve. Matter of fact, this sign up here was the first thing I ever made. And it was the Avid CNC cycle start checklist. And that was the first thing I cut. And I cut it with this bit right here. This is a 1502 uh, V-carb bit. It's a 90 degree V-carb bit from Whiteside. And I've used this many times. Um, matter of fact, this is the main bit I use when I'm V-carving um, any letters or um, different signs. I'll use this V-carb bit. And um, I'll show you a little example of this V-carb bit in action. But it does, it does quick work, and um, yeah, that's been a really good one. That was some of the first things I did was um, learning how to V-carve signs. And um, I had a lot of fun doing that. It was, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. So this is a 90-degree V-carve bit. Now, a few times I've used this 60-degree, and this 60-degree, this you can see it has a sharper point. And the only thing about the 60-degree, it, it can do more um, intricate little things but it also, it can go a lot deeper. So if you, if you were to try to do, you know, a half inch wide, you might be poking through some three quarter inch material. So you gotta be careful. I, I mostly use this one when I'm doing letters, um, but this is a really good bit too. And this is a, so this 60 degree bit is a 1550 by Whiteside. And I have used it a few times, but I mostly, like I said, I mostly use this 1502. The other bits that I used right up right in the beginning were these depth. This is a RD2075 and a RU2075. So one's a down cut spiral bit and um, one's an up, up cut spiral bit. 
Now when I was first making, the first time I cut out a project, I, I used these bits. These were the only ones I had. And I, the down cut will leave material down inside your cutout pocket where the upcut kind of pulls it up. And, and actually for the vacuum system, the upcut works better. But what I found is sometimes with um, cheaper wood, softer wood, when you're using the upcut bit, you can, you can splinter off some of the some of the stuff if you're because the bits cutting and pulling upwards um, so like I said this is a RD 2075 and RU 2075 and I you know in the first year that those were the only ones I used and the only problem with the it's a quarter inch bit the only problem with it is um, you can't get into tight spots so when I started doing a little more intricate stuff um, where I was cutting pretty tight radiuses and stuff. That's where this bit came in. And this bit is actually by a mana. This is a, um, I'll put a picture of that one. I can't see that one either. But that's, this one is an eighth inch down cut um, spectra spiral bit by a mana. And I really started using that. I use this a lot. Uh, matter of fact, any of the parts that I've been cutting out lately, I'll use this bit because when I'm doing box joints, I can get right in there and, and, and I don't have to do anything and I can fit those joints together and they're really nice. The other bit that I use right here is a keyhole bit and this is a 1550 I believe. Let me make sure. No, I'm sorry. This is a 3050 by white side keyhole bit. So you have most of all these bits right here, this whole row up to here, are, are white side bits. And like I said, this is a 3050. And I use this for doing, what I'll do is if I'm doing a sign or a picture that I have to hang on the wall, I'll flip it over and I'll put a couple keyhole slots in it. So I don't have to use any picture hanger material. I can just use this keyhole slot. And that works really well. The next bit that I use now, when, in the very beginning, I did V-carve signs. I did um, epoxy inlays with the V-carve bit. I, I started surfacing my material almost all the time because what I found out even, even early on doing the V-carve was if I surfaced my material, the V-carve would come out perfect. But if I didn't surface the material first, then if the material had any kind of like, if one side was uh, thicker than the other and you you know you might not see it but but as soon as you v-carve you'll you'll see it it'll show up so I started always surfacing but um, the next thing I started doing is um, I, I wanted to learn how to 3d do 3d um, carvings and they can take a long time um, I remember the first one I did what was the first oh the first one I did was a fish and um, it was a lot of fun. And actually here's one on the wall that I did. Um, that's a 3D fish of uh, um, kind of a San Juan River sign. And, and you know, a lot of my friends are fishermen, so it was fun to make some signs and send them to them. And those were, those were good Christmas presents last year too. The next, so, so the 3D, the, the two bits that I use are these two bits by Amana. I do my rough out carving with this eighth inch spiral bit. And then I do my, my uh, finish carving with this ball nose bit. Now this is a 46288, and I'll show you a picture of it. And this does a really nice job. I've been very happy with it so far. It's, it's, as long as I put in the right um, numbers and, and you know as long as I do my Z out properly, it comes out really smooth and clean. The next bit over here, this is a crazy bit. This is a C1072 half inch straight cut bit. Now, what I, I, I've only used this a couple times. And one time on my garage, I was making some custom parts. And you know, the parts were um, two inches thick. I was using some micro lamb material. And I used this bit to cut out those parts and it worked really well. And it, um, so I've only used this a couple times and it was for cutting out thick material and it worked really well. Um, it did a it did a really good job. So those are the these are these are um, my ten bits that I've used over the past two years, 
And I always, you know, I'm always trying to learn something new. So hopefully this coming year, this coming winter that's coming up, I'll, um, I'll spread my wings a little bit and try something new. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and hopefully we'll show you something new in the future. Later. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, please make my life more simple.